guys, what's up? I'm Brian here doing a new video for you guys and this time we are taking a look at a knockoff and unboxing it. This is not specifically a review. I want to actually do a review at some point, but this is actually an unboxing. So let's go ahead and open it up, shall we? Today we're taking a look at the Robot Battle Changes Form. Yeah, I watched these reviews. What about it? On the back, we've got instructions on how to transform it. Let's just rip it open and see just how cheap it is. Alright. So far, the box is giving me problems. It doesn't even want me to know how cheap the figure is. Alright, so the figure is in the bubble. Just, just more time till I figure out that this is a very cheap toy, I guess. Maybe. Unless it's good. Unless it's actually pretty good. Which I doubt it. Transform! Okay. Alright. Actually, that's sturdy plastic. Honestly. Uh, it doesn't want to stand up. It's a little too back heavy, but that's actually okay because of uh, something to do with this figure. So this is supposed to be a knockoff of Bombshell. Um, the turrets actually rotate. And they actually have good friction in the, uh, in the joints here. I, that's actually difficult to plug in. There we go. It's actually kind of surprising. Um, ball joints only move up and down, but it's due to the backpack, so I'm not going to take points off that. This is loose, but it's supposed to be because during the transformation... Oh my god, you're supposed to pop them off, but it's so difficult. Hold on, I'll do that off camera. Okay. Huh. Wasn't actually as difficult as I thought it was going to be. So during the transformation, you have to pop these off and plug them on the other side. That is actually part of the transformation. But if you ever find this toy, I probably recommend just swapping them around and leaving them like that. Sure, there's not a lot of detail, but the figure can't stand itself. So yeah, also his weapon just fell off, so I, I'm guessing it's not good over time. But, you know, there's that. At least the turrets rotate forward, so... If you have a problem with the arm articulation, which it does, I guess there's that. Um, let's go ahead and transform this. Now these are supposed to slide in. I got the one side going in. There we go. Got the other. It's actually got some really tight joints. So that's actually surprising me. It's kind of worrying me a bit. I'm not sure about the leg joints. Um, but they clip in really well, like, oh my god, there's actually a couple of clips on the side here, and it clips so amazingly well. And then, uh, there's the alt mode, and, uh, I guess that goes on that side. Maybe. There, oh, wow. You hear that? This doesn't need it plug in too far, but maybe. No, oh, wow, that's an actual click. And there's the alt mode. Um, no rolling tires, but actually got a lot of detail. <laughs> I'm actually really surprised how good quality, how much good quality is actually in this figure. And uh, yeah, the paint's a little messed up on the top here, but as for a uh, uh, a knockoff. The paint's actually not terrible. It's it's not great. Um, you know, there is some faded black on the side here, but um, it's not the worst. Not the worst. I can say that. It's definitely not the worst. The placement is actually pretty well. Um, now, uh, some people would say that this uh, knockoff doesn't have a lot of paint in general. But uh, the paint that's added on actually really does help. Um, so, yeah, I'm actually quite surprised with how well this comes out. Um, I was expecting a very cheap-ass toy. Um, oh, oh, then I noticed that. <laughs> but, uh, you know, plastic quality, I, I could bash this around all day. I don't feel like I'm going to break it. Um, of course, I'm not going to do that, but... Still, I am, I am pleased by this. It's a cheap knockoff, but I'm pleased with the quality of this. It's um, it's actually got good quality to it, 
and I'm gonna tell you right up front, it's not perfect one bit. I guess this actually goes on the other side or something. I don't know. It's not perfect one bit, but uh, for how crappy I've I've seen like knockoffs actually be, this is actually really good. Um, I saw some knockoff activators. I'm considering buying those next time I go to the dollar store. I did buy this at a dollar store and maybe another knockoff. I don't know. But if I go to the dollar store and pick up uh, a bunch of knockoffs, I'll probably do a new knockoff review. But uh, we'll have to see because this is only this is only one toy that I've um, purchased for the, the knockoff review. And uh, I, I do have a couple of things I probably could review for the knockoff review, but uh, this is definitely one for that video. Um, I do have a Thundercracker that I kind of want to review by itself because it's actually pretty good. Um, but uh, other than that, I'm not sure if there's any other third, or uh, sorry, I keep thinking third party. If, if there's any uh, other knockoffs that I could... Um, review as a collection video or something like that as, as like multiple figures so we'll have to wait and see uh, just overall with this I'm very happy with it actually um, I'm actually quite surprised I was expecting a lot of loose joints and it, it's not the tightest thing like uh, I popped off the uh, the uh, leg joints and it started to um, show signs that yeah it's a it's a knockoff uh, I mean look at the thing it is clearly a knockoff but uh, just overall I'm I, I I'm surprised by it I, I really am I'm surprised so anyways that's pretty much it I thank you guys for watching please like comment share subscribe and all this fun do it as I'll see you guys next time peace